Welcome back folks, it's another episode. Today I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I was able to pick up yesterday and today, which will be Thursday and Friday. You probably won't see this till Sunday or Monday, um, to help support the sales on my eBay store. It's important that you're always consistently sourcing so that you can consistency lift, consistency, huh, consistently list and consistently sell. I don't edit these things, so you're live with me, right? So one of the things that you can find in any thrift store, anywhere really, is baseball stuff. Baseball gloves, mitts, that kind of stuff. This is probably like the T-ball or just starting out size. That's the company. This is a good brand, very good brand, and I paid that much for it. For these videos, I'm going to start leaving the price tags on just so that you can see it's no BS. I'll show you what I'm, for the most part, unless they came off or something where they didn't have one. I'll always try to leave these on to just keep us all honest so you can see this is not a fluff channel. I'm not fudging my numbers. This is what we sell them for. You can even look this up. If I'm not mistaken, that's the model. It should be somewhere between 16 and 20, something like that. It'll ship first class. I'll make me a couple dollars. Next thing, Barbies. It seems like uh, the Barbie God has smiled upon me because, you know, in my previous video, I talked about uh, about about 140, 150 Barbies a couple weeks ago, and I ran into another state sale where I bought a couple more. I bought uh, uh, 18 or so more, and today I bought uh, eh, maybe 10. So I got this lady here, two of her. You saw the price. These are from Walmart, by the way. Um, this lady here two bucks and these these are new Barbie so typically they'll sell anywhere between depending on the on the you know the style and that a new Barbie like this you could probably you know a good ballpark is anywhere from $12.99 to 20 depending on the Barbie and the demand and the the style and all that good stuff now there's other Barbies like this one got this at a garage sale today one of my first ones this year this is what she looks like. Wah. Now this is a special Barbie. So $3 and I looked her up. You can look her up too. She's just under 40. Um, the box is a little damaged. So you're going to want to put that in the description. Especially right there. I'll take a specific picture of just that area right there. And I'll put damaged box in the listing. Uh, some other stuff here. Here's a good brand. I hope that's not upside down. Foot Joy. These are women's golfing shoes. They kind of have the funny little cleats if you want to identify them like that. These don't look like they've been worn. I don't think they have. They might have been tried on. I got these for $6. Comps are around uh, 40 to 60, you know, ish, depending on the brand and, or not the brand, the style and that kind of stuff. Some of the only clothes that I'll buy. Um, a lot of people start out buying clothes. I'll always be on the lookout. Of course, for Levi's. Levi's are a good brand. You can see they originally sold for 45, and I bought them for 15. Um, they should still sell for about 45 bucks. The, the crummy thing is, is you got to ship them priority, so it cuts into your profit. But these will fit into um, probably not this guy, but the one bigger than that, which is like seven something, almost eight dollars. So I will buy Levi's still. And then if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the Tommy Bahama. That's what he looks like. That's how much. Tommy Bahama sells almost instantly for me. I'm not sure on this shirt, but I haven't looked it up. I just bought it because I saw the brand. I'm having trouble looking at the camera. I'm such a YouTube noob. There's another shirt, another brand that I'll buy. Pendleton. Cost me three bucks. I'm going to sell that for 20 and the other one probably sell for 20 um, All right, another thing. If you've watched my videos, which some of you do, it's pretty amazing. Thanks for all the subscriptions and the likes and all that. Um, you'll know that I'm a big fan of knowing a lot of different categories. Not being an expert, but just knowing, trying to keep my eye out for stuff. So one of those that I think is at least overlooked in my area, like I told you the story of the guys that are always in the electronics at my thrift store. Um, there's not a lot of people who thrift um, glass, mugs, these kind of things. So I found a dollar, and it's U.S. Senate. Somebody's going to buy that for 
I hope, or at least 14. Um, and then they had Nebraska Corn Huskers, $2. She gave them all a dollar. So I got all these for a dollar. Oregon Ducks. And then this one's cool. That used to be my favorite jet, the SR-71 Blackbird. And then I just saw this one because we know it's true, right, fellas? Huh. I don't need Google. My wife knows everything. Yeah. I'll just leave that right there and you just um, do what you want. This thing, I didn't look it up. It's a little lockable box. She gave it to me for two bucks. Has the keys inside. If it doesn't sell for much, I'll just give it to my son. Uh, let's see. Also, always be on the lookout for board games. Check inside to make sure that it's complete. This one was complete. And it was it's basically new open box because all the cards and stuff are still sealed inside. Let's see, one other thing, but I want to really hit on some, some good areas here. So you guys can go out and get you some too. Of course, this is $3 Corningware. On these things... You just type in Corningware, and then that number there. That's what you want to search for. You can actually just put in Corningware, and then that thing with the dashes, and all the comps and everything will come up. This was three bucks. I'll sell it for uh, probably twenty-three, something like that. I didn't look this up, but this is an ashtray, which they don't make vintage ashtrays anymore because nobody smokes, especially with this heavy amber. You just know it's a a vintage piece I'm gonna look it up and I don't know what I'll sell it for but it'll sell for something um, also it's a little vintagey bowl for a dollar fifty this will sell don't know how much but I've been doing glass for so long that you just I think my mom had this or I've sold one of these before but I saw it and I knew that I it would be a good buy I checked it's a dollar fifty you can't go wrong with it a dollar fifty a dollar fifty if I sell it for 20, this will will lit or lit that. I'll sell this, let's say, for 20. Okay. Use Pirate Ship Dimensional or maybe even FedEx, whichever one's cheaper. And it won't ship for any more than nine bucks, especially with Pirate Ship. No way. So you got ten dollars into the item and shipping, you probably make eight bucks. Oh, eight dollars, it's not worth it. Really? It's not? Okay. Have a thousand items sell at $8 and tell me that $8 isn't worth it. Yeah, exactly. Another one, Pyrex Pie Pan. Okay. Um, one other cool thing that I found. When I was little, I lived in California and I watched it was, what was it, the 88 um, what are you, World Series where Kirk Gibson hit the home run and won the game just like in the movies. Well, I don't know if it's actually autographed. It looks like it is, and it was $4, so if it doesn't sell, then I'll put it on my wall, because I like the Dodgers. Another place that I hit almost daily, where I got the Barbies from, is the Walmart clearance section. This was, that's how much. Even though it says it was uh, 1762, the comps are about 24 or so, if I remember right, 24, 27. This will ship first class. Uh, let's see Vintage Fisher price this stuff sells good too. This is from when I was a little guy also three bucks I've sold one of these for I think it was $24.99 with free shipping It's a little record player if you do find one it sells for a lot more if it has all the records at first I didn't know this and I thought oh geez, it's only one record. It's not gonna sell for a lot Well, it has a little door in the back and you open the door and there's all the rest of the records. So, good purchase there. One other thing that I have a lot of luck with is sealed unopened puzzles. Big seller, especially during the COVIDs. People are going crazy over the puzzles. Now, unless you're in Utah, you're probably not going to have a chance to find a lot of these, but I find them all the time. This is a Book of Mormon and it's the Chinese version. Also another one, the uh, the Arabic version. These will sell for between $14 and $19. I don't know why people buy them. Maybe their son is going and they want one, or maybe they collect them, but I sell a lot of Mormon books and stuff. 
Now, the thing that really made me giddy, today I found this. I say, why, Dave, why are you getting so excited over Gulf Wax? Well, Gulf Wax, go look them up. They're selling for about $13 to $14.99. This is a pound, so it's going to grow priority. So I'm going to bundle it up, uh, a two, for $24, $23. Anyway, once you do all the math, it should be um, about $5. Let's see. What did I think? It would be $8 for two, something $10 for two. These were 50 cents each, and I bought three cases of them. They were just sitting there, and the electronics guys, the the pickers were over there doing their, looking at their whatever the heck they look at, trying to scratch stuff out, and they just left three sealed cases of these. This one broke open, but I've sold these before, and they sell really good, especially these days. Spring and summer's coming. It's canning season. People are going to use this for their canning, their crafts, or candle making. I think you can even use them on your surfboards. I don't know. People buy them, and I have 60 of them, 30 listings, and I'm going to make... Um, Gee whiz, what was it? I think it was $10, $10 a thing. So that's $300. Oh, no, it was $330. It was $11 profit for two. Sorry. <laughs> a lot of numbers. Um, it's going to be $11 profit if I sell them in a bundle of two with free shipping. And anyway, so it'll be $330 profit after everything's said and done. And guess what? I do one picture. Well, not one picture, but one picture, one listing, one description. And then I set those three cases over in the side of my garage and then I just sell them and it's like this guy keeps giving me eleven dollars every couple of days and the cool thing is if you find you know a fair amount of these not these but that kind of thing where you can buy 20 of them 10 of them 50 of them a hundred of them whatever it is and each one of those things sells a day once a day once every other day it's just like they say like tech in sports I heard on their latest podcast with Daily Refinement, it's like an ATM machine. You're just printing money. They're just giving you money. Pa ching cha ching cha ching cha ching. And I just go and I take this thing and I mail it. I drive over a little post office there and I have ten dollars. And I'm gonna do that thirty times, eleven dollars. It's awesome. And I mean I feel bad for the dudes at the thrift store because they miss so much I've sold so much Pyrex. I, I uh, you could open your own eBay store on Pyrex and vintage glass. I mean, it's it's bananas. It's bananas. The the amount of stuff people have this scarcity mindset. Oh, I can't resell. There's already people doing it. The market is saturated. It's not. It's not. There's people like Daily Refinement that make thousands and thousands of dollars selling thrifted clothes. Just clothes. Just clothes. There's probably people that make thousands of dollars only selling Barbies. Or only selling mugs. Dude, I'm telling you people, it's not too late. Go out and find you some stuff. Go to your garage and flip something to get started if you need money. Go out and make your own money in your own living. It's easy. It's easy. Keep watching my videos, but don't watch so many videos. Pause it. Go out and get stuff. Open an eBay store or just an eBay account. Start selling things and then come back and watch some more videos. But come on. Go do it. Change your family tree. Thanks for watching.